Is oh. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my little kitchen. And I'm so excited today because I have bought an ice cream maker. And I've got these fresh peaches that if you live in the north, um, like I'm in Ohio, um, we really can't get fresh peaches here because they're hard like an apple in the grocery store. And I grew up in North Carolina and when you eat a peach, you just it's supposed to run down your hands and be so delicious. So these are wonderful and um, it's called thepeachtruck.com and you can look on the internet and see where they go. And today I'm going to make some peach ice cream, two of my favorite things, ice cream and peaches. So I'm excited and I'm going to show you first how to get the peels off of um, the peaches, which it's very hard to peel a peach. So I'm going to just move that down so you can see the peaches. They're a little small this year, but they are delicious and just wonderful. So what I've got here is I have a, um, a pot of boiling water here and you want to get that up there. And I also have an ice bath here. So some just nice cold ice water. And what you're going to do is just, um, this one's kind of got a bad spot, so it'll be a good one to make some peach ice cream with. But I'm going to drop those in just real fast. And we're just going to get a few in here. And we're going to let them go maybe a minute, if that. We'll just set the timer. And we just want them to boil a little bit. And then I'm going to take them out and put them in my ice bath. And when I'm freezing these, what I do is um, I just freeze them. And I've got a nice little, this is a Pampered Chef bowl, which is wonderful because um, it has the measurements on the side. But I'll, I'll freeze them and then you put some lime juice on them or lemon. I use lemon juice. Put lemon juice on them and that'll keep them from turning brown. And I just freeze them in Ziploc bags and put them in the freezer. Oh, already just touching them I feel that pill just coming right off and it just so easily just pills look at that you see that just pills right on off and this one was the one that was kind of really way too overripe so some of the other ones will even be easier because they're not as overripe but this one's definitely ready needs to be something eaten or something done with it so and I don't know what it is about boiling them like this for a couple seconds but it just makes them even extra delicious sometimes I have a hard time not eating them as I'm trying to freeze them they're so delicious so that is as easy as it is if the skin comes off so easily so I really for the ice cream I need two cups of peaches okay so I'm back and I have um, two cups of peaches here, oops, filled peaches, and the recipe that I'm using calls for um, a third of a cup of sugar over your fruit. We're going to do that, and it calls for um, three tablespoons of lemon, and I'm just going to eyeball that. Whoops. And I think what this is going to do is just kind of help break the peaches down and Give your ice cream lots of flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and put some cinnamon in. And a little bit of vanilla. And I'll probably add some vanilla to my um, milk and cream um, mixture too, but I'm going to just kind of break those up with my potato masher here. And then the recipe says that this needs to um, sit for two hours. And so I'm going to just put this in the fridge so it'll be nice and cold too when I'm ready to add it to my, my cream and milk mixture. Okay, so we'll be right back with you here. Okay, hi everybody. So we're back in the little kitchen here and we're going to make um, the ice cream. So my peaches have been sitting in the fridge with that three tablespoons of lemon juice and 
a third of a cup of sugar, and um, I put some cinnamon and some vanilla in there. So the recipe calls for a cup of whole milk, so we're going to get that in. And then it says to put in your cup of sugar. Well, I, this is about three-fourths cup of sugar because the whole recipe calls for um, a cup of sugar. So we're going to get that in there. And then it says to whisk this for about a minute or two. Just going to bring you all in a little bit. So we're just going to whisk this for a minute or two to get that sugar to dissolve. Not quite two cups. So we're going to get the heavy cream mixed in with the peaches. Smell the cinnamon in there. I may put just another little dash of cinnamon. I think this will be much easier to pour into the ice cream maker. And then I'm going to pour in, this was the cup of milk with the cup of whole milk, calls for whole milk. Whole milk with a three-fourth cup of sugar. Go ahead and get that in there. And you do have to freeze the ice cream um, bowl. It call, tells you to freeze it for 24 hours. And my okay, so. I want it to show you. This is what I bought from Walmart yesterday, $39. And I'm excited to see how it works. So here we go. I've got this is the base. The base, of course, and then this is the part that you put in your freezer. And okay. And then this, you know what? I think it goes this way, doesn't it? I probably should look, huh? There's my book right here. Pretty sure. Yep, the round part goes to the top. All right, and then we're gonna put this on. I think it has to click down. There we go. I did add a little more cinnamon, probably maybe shouldn't have see little pieces in there okay so and the directions say you turn it on first and then you pour your ice cream into it there we go it's all gonna go in there It's not too loud at all. So. Okay, so this is um, 15 minutes of churning, and it is a little bit loud, um, but you can tell it's pretty much to the soft serve stage right now. I'm going to actually let it go about. Uh, I'm going to set it for about. 13 more minutes and we're going to check it again but it's looking very good well it's only been um, a few more minutes but I'm really scared it's going to overflow so I think I'm going to stop it and it's definitely getting ready to overflow so I think we're going to taste it and then maybe 
we will turn it on a little bit more after we get some of it out of here. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna taste test it. We're gonna taste test it. And we're excited. And I just am very excited for all the possibilities. But it is looking like it's this is definitely a soft serve stage. So I think you can freeze it a little bit longer in your freezer. But we're gonna let my daughter taste it here. Get get up there for the camera to see ya. Wanna taste it together? Is it delicious? <laughs> I love it. I think it tastes it tastes like cobbler. It tastes like peach cobbler. Mm. Just delicious peach cobbler ice cream. This on my let me taste it. Yeah. I love you know, and I love actually when ice cream is soft like this. I think it tastes best. Mmm. Let you zoom in on it here. It really, really, really is good. It's fresh. The peaches are just delicious because they're fresh peaches. I'm sure you could make it with a canned peach if you wanted to, but if you have the ability to get fresh, ripe peaches, do that. And like I said, I can't wait to try this. My daughter's gluten-free, so we could actually have cookies and cream ice cream with gluten-free cookies. <laughs> and and we're just talking about just all the all the all the different ice creams we can make strawberry ice cream so I hope you give it a try if you love ice cream I am thrilled to have this it's just adorable so we will make more ice cream thank you so much you guys have a wonderful day bye bye now